you may be having a problem right now. You may have a problem with someone who has more power than you. Maybe more authority. Maybe you are in a problem someone is doing you wrong and in order to get back at them you have to do wrong as well someone may be doing something to you to where if you were to get even you would be doing probably more wrong. So like, it may seem like that person kind of has you trapped. Because if you want to serve God, if you want to do things right, you can't get even. You can't do something really bad to get even with that person. So it is like that enemy or that person has you trapped. Okay. And you may feel very bad about it. What should you do? I think one of the things I have learned about God, continue to do what is right, even if it may seem to your disadvantage. So continue to do what is right, even even if it seems like it is to your disadvantage. I truly believe in you reap what you sow. So whatever you do, I think, in many cases, you are going to receive back what you put in. And I think in many times, probably more. So if I do good, I believe more good will come to me. If I do bad, I think more bad or bad in general will come to me. So if you do good, I think good or more good will come back to you. If you do bad, I think bad or more bad will come to you. I truly believe those things. I have been placed in situations to where I felt like I was trapped, like someone is acting really evil toward me and yes, I could get even, but to get even, I would be sinning. So what can I do? Continue to do what is right, even if it seems like it is to your disadvantage. I believe most of the time, God makes a way to where things works out. Someone may be taking disadvantage of you. Someone may be mocking you or how can I say that? Taunting you about what they have done. If you live for God, if someone is doing something to you that isn't right and you are trying to make things right with that person, but that person is continuing 
to do what is wrong, I tell you what, that person better watch out. We can't, from my understanding, we can't continue to do what is wrong and believe everything is going to be okay. Man, I truly feel everything that happens to us is not a coincidence. Bad things happening to me is not a coincidence. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Is God trying to teach me something? Where do I need to get better at? So I think I, I think some of the time I think of those things when problems come my way. Did I do anything wrong? Did I yell at anyone? Did I, was I rude to anyone? Okay, if I don't find anything, okay, what is God trying to teach me? Is he trying to teach me patience or long suffering or what is going on? Listen now, if I am doing wrong and I know I am doing wrong, if bad things come to me, how would that be a surprise to me? So anyways, to get back to my point, don't worry about your enemy. Now, I am not saying you should wish for your enemy to be punished, but if you are continuing to do things in the right way toward your enemy and your enemy continues to do what is wrong, so it doesn't matter if it is your boss, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your mom, your dad, whomever, if you are continuing to treat them with respect and honor, I guess I can say, and if they are continuing to be rude to you or do things to trap you, I guess I can say, they better watch out. Because if you read in Romans, I forget which scripture it is, maybe Romans 16, Romans 11, maybe Romans 11, I forget, where it says something like, where Jesus Christ will avenge you as long as you are doing what is right. I believe it says something like that. And I may post it somewhere, maybe. Maybe it is Romans 11. So, continue to do what is right. And I believe God will avenge you. Um, even if you were doing what is wrong, I think God will avenge you and punish you too. Look now, if I know I will reap what I sow, why should I seek for revenge? Listen now, I think that I call it a law the law of reaping and sowing. So if I know I am doing wrong, and if I know bad things will happen to me if I do wrong, why would I constantly, willfully do it and be surprised about what is happening in my life? Look now. I don't do everything right, but look now, how can I complain 
about bad things happening to me if I choose to be evil. Okay. You may have a problem with someone right now. You may feel you are trapped because if you were to get even doing something evil, it would be a sin. So what should you do? Continue to do what is right. One year, two years, three years, whatever. Whatever it takes because outwardly, you may believe your enemy is getting away with the evil they are doing. Okay. But do you actually see what is happening to them? Myself, I believe there were times when people would treat me in a bad way while I was treating them in a good way. There were some times where I was able to witness or hear about something bad happening to them, or I mean something, I believe there were times where I was either told or witnessed a bad thing that happened to them. You can't do people wrong and believe you are so wise and so clever and so sly, I guess I can say, and believe that nothing bad is going to happen to you. Now, I may not like being mistreated, but what can I do? Continue to do what is right, even though I may not like it, but continue to do what is right and trust in God that he will make things right. Folks can't do wrong to you and nothing bad happen to them. I don't believe that. I mean... Did I say that right? <laughs> People can't do what is wrong to you and not have anything bad happen to them, if I am saying that right. So be encouraged. Don't fall into sin because of mistreatment. Like, hey, I can't sit here and allow people to treat me wrong. I need to get back at them. No, let me stop here. God bless you.